Nothing major, just that, that hit I took, that fumble. The guy got his helmet kind of right, right in the sweet spot, so um, just being precautionary. Did it affect you the rest of the way? Uh, definitely hurt, definitely hurt. Um, but I try and, with every play and every hit, move on. And um, sore, yeah, but it's no excuse. Did they, did they throw some things at you that you hadn't seen before, different things, um, the way they jumped out? Um, no, the coaches really had us prepared. Uh, they came out fast. They, they hit us in the mouth quite a few times. But uh, I mean, that was big to have be the third game of the season and uh, kind of have them come out swinging like that. And, and you know, we took a few big blows, but we were able to come swing back. How uh, out of runs in the first half at all after that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely wasn't really playing my, my game uh, the way I was expecting to. And uh, that, that um, screen pass to Darbo really kind of brought me back, I feel like, you know, I uh, was able to make more throws in the second half and, and bounce back. Was it designed to get safer when you started going to Jake more and letting him run with it and stuff, I mean, as after the first quarter? Uh, no, I don't think it was designed to get safer by going to Jake. That going to Jake or is just underneath more, more underneath. Well, if they're dropping back that many guys um, and taking away the deep shots, then yeah, we're gonna say okay, we'll just take it down here and there and pick up 15, 20 yards here, 15, 20 yards there. And that's what we did. How much does it help you think moving forward that you guys have faced adversity and you know almost threw interceptions but didn't throw them? Yeah. You can learn from things like that. Yeah, I mean, coach talked uh, the best way to deal with adversity is to not have it, and, and so we were hoping to come out and not have any adversity. Um, is that realistic? Maybe not, but um, when you look at yourself as a good team, maybe a great team, um, you want to avoid it as much as possible, but you know, we, we couldn't really do anything today at the beginning, but um, we, we saw that adversity in the eye and, and came back at it. Talk about the big play to Darbo and how that uh, the screen to, to be a touchdown. Uh, well, it was actually a horrible look for that play, and we didn't have any timeouts left. And coaches, after were like, thank goodness that worked out. Uh, I thought about you know checking out of it or, or audibling, but it was low on the play, call, play clock. And I mean, I know I've got two unreal athletes out there, so I just let it roll and um, got the ball to his hands as quickly as possible. And then he used his weapon a couple times and, and got in the end zone. 14 nothing. We've been five minutes in the game. No, uh, I, I didn't think. Oh god, this is 14 nothing. I went to the sideline and yeah. saw the score. Um, but no, I wasn't like, oh gosh, we're in yeah. trouble. Um, so yeah, it's all yeah. 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 yeah, you can't you can't really think like that. I'm gonna say that every time. It's just. Um, if you're thinking, oh gosh, we're down by this much, you're not going to play your best. So. How much does it help you to get through a little bit of adversity, you personally? Yeah, it's big uh, to you know take some licks uh, out there on the field and, and to be able to fight back and claw back and get back into the game and then put it away later in the game. Uh, that's big. So uh, we're going to learn a lot from this and, and keep moving forward. From your perspective, what's it like to have to worry about a guy like Peppers on the other side? Yeah, I mean, all of camp, thank goodness, I, I was never live because I probably would be chopped in half um, from the month of August. Every time, there was times where I'd get the ball and he would like blitz and our offensive line would even see him because he, he was just so fast. So uh, I got a lot of respect for 13, um, their quarterback, and then 12 too. Uh, 13 hung in there as long as he could and you know, he was just getting drilled left and right and, and a lot of that was peppers. But uh, those, those guys showed a lot of fight. What is it that makes him so deceptive? He's just so fast. Speed, yeah. Oh yeah, he's fast twitch. But uh, I think every single like thought he has is just about destroying the opponent. Uh, he's got like that, that mindset that um, few people do. That uh, I think every single play he, he wants to chop someone in half and, and make sure that they can't walk for a couple of minutes. Have you seen a player like him before? They can do that on all three phases of the ball. I've never played with or against someone like him. Um, more of an offensive threat, I think would you can compare him to Christian McCaffrey in terms of his vision uh, and his ability to cut on a dime. But no, I, I've never, I've never played or seen anything like that. Did you get to see his punt return, or were you doing all this stuff? Uh, no, yeah, I was I was uh, tossing a little bit, um, but yeah, I was I kind of saw him catch it. I saw it was a low punt, so I was like, oh, I should pay attention to this one. And then um, I saw he was at like the 30 yard line, and people put their hands up like it was a touchdown, and um, so that that was huge.